There are lots of ways to mess this up, but hand propping can be a great way to start an aircraft engine, and with a vintage aircraft like this Kinner Sportwing, it may be the only way. Here are a few tips that were learned the hard way. First, get some help. Having a qualified person in the cockpit vastly enhances your odds for success. Mags are off and brakes. Give the airplane a shove to confirm the brakes are applied and that they're holding. Treat the propeller as if the magnetos are always on and stay clear of the propeller arc. You're less likely to get a rude surprise that way. Communicate. The pilot in the cockpit and the person swinging the prop must be on the same page. In our case, we're using the, the uh, terminology contact, meaning mags are hot, mags are on both, uh, the, the engine and the prop are hot, and mags off means the mags were off. You don't want to use mags off and mags on because in windy conditions or difficult to hear, the off and on can be difficult and confusing. Okay, contact, it's hot. And then to prop the airplane, you want your hands on the outside of the prop as much as you can. Don't wrap fingers around the back of the blade. And it's a good idea to have gloves because rings or anything on your finger can get hung on the prop and you don't want that to happen. It's not important for a big hefty push of a prop. If you've ever seen somebody prop off like a Beach 18 or one of the uh, big radial engines, it doesn't take much. And it doesn't take much in these airplanes. You're really just looking for the prop to swing and for that magneto to click. Finally, step away from the propeller arc as you pull it through. Tailwheel airplanes are easier to hand prop because of their nose high attitude on the ground. Metal propellers and low compression engines help too. Don't attempt to hand prop a tricycle gear airplane with a high compression engine. There's simply no good way to stay a safe distance from the prop disc. Other pilots have already made just about every conceivable hand propping error, so there's no need to repeat any of them. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.